Hi, so it's day 10 and the theme for the for today was green tree frogs. Um, I'm going to make some book page pockets, which I've seen other people making um, or something similar. Uh, and I did search around for green tree frog images and without actually getting real photographs, which I wasn't looking for, I wanted to have like illustrations. Um, they were really hard to find or I didn't like them. So I decided to look through some of my children's books to see if there was any uh, frogs that were cute. I did find one green tree frog, but the image was just too big for the project that I'm doing. So what I've come up with is I'm using Beatrix Potter, um, the frog Mr. Jeremy Fisher, I think his name was. So they're the images that I ended up using. So what I'm doing is I've got a book, two book pages which I've cut down a little bit to a size that I was happy with and then I've folded them over so that they make, uh, they end up making three pockets and once you glue this into a journal you could actually end up making four pockets if you wanted to. So, sorry, I'm a little bit off screen there, but I'm just using double-sided tape to stick down the sides. On this first one, I haven't made this before, and I did make a mistake where I only stuck down one side, and then I realized I probably should have stuck down the other, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm sticking down the other side as well. So just getting that done to make it nice and secure. Now just to add a decorative edge on each side and to also make sure those papers are really secure, I use some Tim Holtz washi tape and I add glue on as well just to make sure it sticks really well and I run it along each side and then fold it over to the back. Now I've got another little book page, book piece of the page that I've cut down to size and I'm going to glue that onto the far side to give me a panel that I will decorate on. Um, you, you don't have to add this, you could leave this off and just have the pockets as they are um, or you could add a thinner one. I didn't do any measuring, I just cut it to the size that I thought looked good and now I've got a nice panel there that I'll be able to decorate.
I decided that I wanted some kind of flower to go with my frogs and I thought as frogs tend to swim in ponds or in rivers that water lilies would be good flowers. So I did find some really lovely water lily images uh, mostly from the Graphics Fairy but then also a couple from the Biodiversity Heritage Library as well. So now I'm just working out which of my pictures will fit, fit well into this scene. And this is Jeremy Kingfisher. I'm sure you're all familiar with him from the Beatrix Potter books. And just a little, little quote from that part of the book as well. And now I felt that I needed just a little something else decorative to go at the top. So I'm having a look at my Tracy Fox labels, which I've printed onto uh, sticker paper and I've cut them all out. So they're now stickers, which makes it really easy. And I just pick one of her random number labels to stick it at the top. One thing upon reflection on this first one, my pockets are all blank. I'm going to do a second one where I'm actually going to decorate that space. And I think it looks better in the end. Now, I'll also make some tags at the end to go into this into these pockets just to show you how it can work. So now I'm going to go to make my second one, which will be a slightly different size. So I'm just grabbing an old book, rip it up, the frog prints, just randomly turn to that page. So just picked a couple of pages out of that book. It's quite a large book, so uh, I thought it was a good size because then I can um, pick what size I want my pockets to be. And I'll just trim it down. This one's going to end up being just a little bit smaller than the first one that I did. So this time I'm using papers to decorate where the pockets will be and you'll see in a minute I'll fold it up and you'll see that there'll be some colour there which I think looks better.
Now that I've done a little bit of decoration to start off with, I use my double-sided tape to stick down each side of the pockets. This time I remember to do both sides, not just one, and then having to go back and do the second side. I'm just continuing to decorate the blank spaces before I add my water lily and my, my frog.
So again, no measurements, but I'm just testing it out to see if these tags will fit. They're actually just slightly too big. I'd have to make some smaller tags to go in there, which I will do tomorrow. I sort of decided to stop tonight because it's getting pretty late and I need to go to bed. Uh, but I am going to show you some tags for the other one that I'll decorate now. So starting off, I've pick, I'm going to pick some of the Tim Holtz little tags that I've got as the nice backgrounds and then I'm going to stick a mixture of um, frogs and water lilies on the cards. So I'll make three cards in total just so that I've got one for each of those pockets. So here are my two pockets. I like how they've turned out. Again, I've kind of gone for a yellow, white and green theme. They were pretty easy to do and I think I might make some more with different themes because they're a fun project. Hope you like them. I'll see you later. Bye.